It was inevitable that Oyadio Nuri and her conspirators will turn the Odutola estate into a bag of bones. Why? The estate had fallen victim to criminals, fraud stars, and murderers. Controls did not exist to control management's actions, so the value of the estate decreased to a fraction, possibly a quarter of what it was prior to their taking the life of Chief Odutola. They decimated Chief Odutola's factories, sold lands and buildings, and money from the coffers of the estate. They were driven by unmitigated greed. They had only one motive for murdering Chief Odutola. It was money. Lots of it. What's more? These conspirators headed by Oyadio Lure were not familiar with the intricacies of Chief Adeola Odutola's factories and had no experience running any enterprise. In fact, the two clinics, Vision House, Oyadio Lure ran at Ibadan in Jabodi, were built and heavily subsidized by Chief Adeola Odutola. What follow in this segment of the expose are the extremely wicked, nauseating, and cruel acts perpetrated to the Odutola estate by Oyadio Lure and her conspirators. These acts make it very clear that Chief Adeola Odutola, a man of industry and integrity, couldn't have been grooming Oyadio Lure as his presumptive heir, as she had claimed, and are therefore evidence that she forged Chief Adeola Odutola's will. Let us walk through the consequences of their crime, greed, and incompetence. Odutola Nigeria Industries Limited, Tire Factories, Jabode. Chief Adeola Odutola founded a tire factory in 1967. Oyadio Luri, a conspirators, and Akila or Mabugu just sold all the vehicles, machines, and equipment. Its offices and factories building are now empty. One would gasp out loud to see the space beyond in what used to be full of machines and workers. Inside what was once a thriving factory is gloom, a place time has abandoned. A factory that once had numerous trailers and trucks, lorries, was reduced to one with a single non-functional small-sized truck by Oyadio Luri and Akima Bogunje, two partners in crime. This is beyond wickedness, evil, and incompetence. On page 249, my pro bono services, a measure of grace. The autobiography of Akila Oladipo Mabogunje. Akima Bogunje, professor of geography, stated that they diversified into raising fish at the tire factory. Eventually, they were unable to manage, and that failed. On the same page, Akima Bogunje also stated that there was lack of proprietary interest, code for Oyadio Lurin and a co murderer's lack of interest. So they sold all the machines in a factory and set up a fish pond on Akima Bogunje's advice. It should be obvious that their motive for murdering Chief Odutola was money. They were not interested in managing his factories, and Chief Adeola Odutola had not and could not have been grooming Oyadio Lurin as his presumptive heir. Odutola Food Industries Nigeria of Fen Limited, Biscuit Factory, Ijebode. The biscuit factory, which produced the renowned and well-loved Ofin branded biscuits in the 1980s and early 90s, started operations in 1979. Again, Oyadio Lure, her conspirators, and Akela Omabogoje sold all the vehicles, machines, and equipment of the factory. While new entries were getting into that line of business in Nigeria, Oyadu Luri and her team chose to sell off everything in the factory. The offices and factory buildings are now devoid of meaningful commerce to digitalize it. Also, the office building is currently in a deplorable state, with rainwater during rest storms coming through the windows left open, and because of disuse and maintenance over the years, the structure of the building has been deteriorating. After selling the vehicles, machines, and equipment, they then took two steps in what was a thriving, or could have been a thriving biscuit factory. They, one, leased the factory production floor to a company that supplies grains to the Biring factory in Ejebode. 
This in line with what Akima Bogunja recommended in his pro bono services. Two, started a small table water business. Let's close down page 249, my pro bono services of Akima Bogunja's autobiography with the brand name Fresh Dew. In one of the storage stores of the factory, to further show their incompetence and apathy, they bought two used trucks for distribution one of which is not functional. Marketing is almost non-existent for the table water. Odutola Tassels Limited, built in 1950. The factory in Ibadan was a first for Chief Adiola Odutola. Also, at this factory, all the machines and equipment have been sold. Offices and factory building emptied. The production floor completely devoid of machines. Equipment and people looks and feels like a place time had abandoned. A building that was once Papa Chief Ade Odutola's office and rest house at the Ibana factory has been left in disrepair. Rubbles may be seen in front of it. Moss, algae may be seen growing on the roof, and mechanics repairing cars outside the factories. Odutola Tassels Company Limited. Cano factory. The Cano factory is no different. All vehicles, machines, and equipment were sold. This factory was also decimated by Oyadi Oluri, Olufimla Odutola, and Akila Omabogunje. It never occurred to them that they could diversify into other rubber products. Adiola Farm Estate, Ogbere, Ijebu's local government. Adiola Farm Estate Ogbere in Ijebu East local government was a rubber plantation chief Adiola Odutola started back in the late 1940s. Oya Adiolori and her conspirators couldn't manage the farm estate, so they leased it out to Michelin. This farm processed the rubber latex that was used in its factories. According to Akima Bogunje on page 249, my pro bono services of his autobiography, new acreage of rubber trees were planted and attempts were made to grow cassava. All these efforts then revived the company so they sold all the machines and equipment. Oyadi Oluri and her conspirators were incompetent and unwilling to manage the farm. Again, spending money was their primary and only aim, which was why the murdered chief Adiola Odutola. Odutola stores in Jabodi. Odutola stores, founded by Chief Adiola Odutola in 1980 to serve those living in Ejabode and our environs. The departmental store was single handedly destroyed by Adibisibate, Oyadi Oluri's older sister. Adibisibate is seamstress with no departmental store experience, who, similarly to her sister Oyadi Oluri, used diabolical means to have Chief Odutola hand over control of the store to her. Today, it is leased to PLL Lottery Company. Even though new supermarkets are springing up in Ijebode, however, according to Akima Bugunje, there's a lack of proprietary interest. Could for Yadio Luri and a conspirator's lack of interest in expanding the Odutala Estate. Odutala Estate, 386, Habat Macaulay Street, Yaba, Lagos. A building at 386 about Macaulay Street, Yaba, Lagos, was one of the first buildings Chief Adiola Odutola built in Lagos. Oya Adiola demolished the building and left it undeveloped for over five years. Prior to demolishing the building, it was leased to a church. Now it has been left fallow and without rental revenue to the estate. Odutola Estate, Ijora Warehouses, Lagos. Between April and May 2021, Oyadi Oluri, who is now 87 years old and who had no plans for the future, leases out four warehouses at the Jora Lagos, belonging to the Odutola Estate for 50 years, to a company that plans to demolish the warehouses and operate a container storage and processing facility. Oyadi Oluri is unable to put her unmitigated greed and spending habits to check. And she's not concerned about the damages she had done to the Odutola estate and continues to kick the can down the road. She was never concerned about the legacy of Chief Adiola Odutola or the effects of her reckless actions on both current 
and future Odutola generations. To her, that's the problem of the Odutolas. The Olori will do just fine. Further investigations also show that Oyadi Olori's first son, Olaf Olori, a man with an addiction and substance abuse disorder, is responsible for sourcing buyers and negotiating land sales and leasing agreements. Omobolanle Akitoe Akirile Facebook post. On November 18, 2016, Omobolanle Akitoe Akirile, the third child of Bodupo Dutola Mamainka, who was a key participant in the murder of Chivadiola Dutola, was furious and unable to hold back a disgust regarding the sales of machines and equipment by Oyadio Luri, Olufumela Odutola, and Akinla Omabo Gunje. So she decided to air grievances on a social media platform, Facebook. Omobolale Akito Yakirile was immediately advised, pacified, to remove her post. Omobolale Akito Yakirile passed on August 2020. Adiola Odutola Event Center, Ejebode. Adiola Odutola Event Center, commissioned on Saturday, October 12, 2013 was Oyadi Olori's only achievement in 26 years since she and her conspirators murdered Chief Adiola Odutola. She raised the old buildings Chief Adiola Odutola built when she was starting out in commerce in the 1920s at 204 Falagbadi Street, Ijebode. There she built a money-losing, seldom-used imposing event center she named Adiola Odutola Event Center. Her and Akima Bogunjo destroyed the factories and built an event center. Acts consistent with morons who sold the sun to buy a candle. Odutola Estate, sale of lands and building. Oyadi Oluri, a conspirators, a contrived executor, Akima Bogunje, and Genesis secretaries have been fraudulently selling and leasing properties to the detriment of the Odutola Estate. Oyadi Oluri or our agents are not authorized to sell or lease these properties. Those who have been approached by Mr. Olaf Adewali Oluri, Oyadi Oluri's son, to buy real properties belonging to the Odutola estate will be doing so at their own great peril. These people are fraudulent, murderers, manipulators, and thieves. You have no business with them. Vision House, Mokolai Bado. The clinic was built and furnished for Oyadi Oluri some decades ago by Chief Adeola Odutola. Oyadi Oluri wasn't able to maintain the building as can be seen from the dilapidated look and the algae growing on its roof. For a woman who claims that Chief Adeola Odutola had been grooming her, the status of the clinic has the merit of illustrating that outside our sphere of knowledge and experience, which is ophthalmology, Oyadi Oluri is a profoundly lazy, an incompetent person. Adiola Odutola Industries PLC Viability Study Report. In 1996, Oyadi Oluri requested a viability study from Omolayoli and Associates, management consultants apparently hoping that it aligns with the will she forged. Dr. M. O. Omolayoli was the former chairman of Liver Brothers Nigeria Limited. October 1996, Adiola Odutola Industries PLC Viability Study Report by Amolaya Leon Associates, Management Consultant 12 14 Aerodrome Road, Apapa Lagos, conducted at the request of the Board of Trustees, Oyadeo Luri, indicated that A. It became clear to the Board of Trustees, owners of the business, which was established as provided for in the last will and testament of the founder, who died in 1995 that the company is needed to be rescued to keep alive the dream of the founder. B. It is envisaged that between the year 1998 and 2000, all the units, Odutola Tire Sales Company Limited, OTC in Ibado and Kano, Odutola Tire and Rubber Company Limited, OTRC Ibado, Odutola Nigeria Industries Limited, Oni Ijebode, and Odutola Food Industries Limited, Ofin Ijebode, would have been fully revitalized, reactivated, excluding OTC Bado. And C, these units needed an ingestion of working capital 
and fresh investments to make them viable. Based on the viability report of October 1996, decimating, selling the machines and equipment in Chief Adiolo Dutono's factories was absolutely evil, callous, inexcusable. Why? Chief Adiolo Dutolo expected continuity of operations at his factories after his death and had marked a check of 3 million naira, a very substantial amount of money in 1995, to ensure his factories were functioning. An unsigned codicil dated March 1995 that was found in his safe specifically stated that Olufumalai Odutola should be kicked out of his businesses and house because Olufumalai Odutola had reproposed the 3 million naira for his personal use and Oyadi Olori turned a blind eye to his instruction, which was not surprising. They were both involved in plundering Chief Adeolo Dutola's safe on April 10, 1995, and his mother three days later on April 13, 1995. So, what's the problem? Again, according to Akima Bogunje on page 249, my pro bono services of his autobiography, the board took a closer look at the fortunes of the company and noted that most of the members were aging and recognized the lacks of proprietary interest. Code for Oyadi Oluri and a conspirator's lack of interest. So the board had to start conceptualizing the adoption of new paradigm of operation, which will entail securing proprietary concern through leasing the facilities to those who will provide commitment management for driving the ample profits that the enterprises are capable of yielding. Another code for selling all the machines and leasing out the buildings for rent because we're incompetent to manage anything and just want money to spend anyhow. Oyadi Oluri and our conspirators don't have the aptitude or will to run a manufacturing enterprise. Their primary aim was to steal and spend money. When foreigners were setting up manufacturing enterprises in Nigeria, Oyadi Oluri and our conspirators were busy decimating factories, the factories built by the first president of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, a man who fought for the success of industries in Nigeria. These indeed is evil and beyond irony. When all of Oyadi Oluri's atrocities are juxtaposed with a statement, line item number 19 and exhibit 1, and the court case Odutola Holders Limited and ORS v. Mr. Kunlela Dijobi and ORS SC 263-2001-2006 NGSC 189-12 May 2006, which reads, Number 19, that the late chief T.A. Odutola by his will expressed the wish that I should always be the chairman of the first plaintiff, Odutola Holdings Limited. A copy of the 1987 will is attached herewith, marked Exhibit 1. Considering she kidnapped and murdered Chief Odutola, decimated his factories and sold his properties, how could that statement be true? It is obvious that Oyadi Oluri is a pathological liar, thief, and fraud. Our unmitigated greed made her forge Chief Adiolo Dutola's will, and later her and her conspirators murdered him. Chief Adiolo Dutola will turn in his grave if he knew what Oyadi Oluri, Olufumilayo Dutola, and Akila Oladipo Mabugoje had been doing decimating his factories selling vehicles, machines, and equipment in his factories. These despicable individuals are the embodiment of evil.